Hello, I'm Dr. Angela Moore and I'm going to tell you how to create a shift pattern using our software Visual Rotor X. The requirement is for flat staffing 24-7 with two people on per shift before holidays and absences. The solution is to use a 232 shift pattern in this example. Visual Rotor X runs in Excel. It uses an open architecture and is ideal for creating and managing shift patterns. Here I'm going to enter the names of the people on the shift pattern. For this example, they're going to be uh, labelled operator 1 to 8. Here I have to put in their hours per week. They're working 36 hours per week in this example. Now I'm going to enter the amount of holiday that they are entitled to per year in days. Moving along to the information sheet, I enter information such as the name of the shift pattern and the start date. I also enter details on the shifts. In this example, we are going to work do the 232, which uses 12 hours day and night shifts. In this example, we're using both 12-hour day and night shifts, which start at 8 o'clock in the morning and finish at 8 o'clock at night, or start at 8 o'clock in the evening. They have a one-hour paid break as part of the 12-hour shift. In the required staffing levels table, we enter the number of people we would like on each shift each day of the week. Now we have to work out how many people we require on the shift pattern. We have eight in there initially. We can see here how many hours they are working, which is 336 hours per week. If 36 hours per week, that means that uh, you require 9.3 people. Therefore, we have to add an extra operator to make it up to nine. We couldn't increase it up to 10, but nine is perfectly acceptable as we need 9.3. Now it's time to create the shift pattern. We're going to use the 232, which involves working two or three days or two or three nights, and then having two or three days off, followed by working two or three nights. Here I am entering the shift pattern. You'll see here, because it starts on a Tuesday, we have to continue on to the Monday, and the shifts are slightly split. Once we extend the shift pattern, this will all be resolved. Now, I've got eight people down there. I actually want it to be for nine, so I have to delete that end shift and move it down one spot so it matches in with the first day shift that was worked. Having set up the shift pattern for a week, I now set up the equations to create the annual rotor. It is then a simple click and drag operation to create the annual shift pattern. I then drag it out for the rest of the year And there's a completed shift pattern. I now just have to copy it and then paste it as just values so that I avoid any issue where if I change it in the first week it will alter it for the rest of the year. You can see here that uh, the number of hours that have been worked is that they are working too many hours. The company owes them between 50 and 100 hours each. The company can either buy those hours at overtime rate, or we'll remove excess shifts from the shift pattern at convenient times. For more information on how to create a shift pattern, please visit our website at www.oranalyst.com or shiftpatterns.com or visualrotor.co.uk.